I'm starting out with a 2x2x12 two by two by inch spindle blank mounted between centers. Using a spindle roughing gouge, I'm carefully taking the corners off the blank. I have the tool rest set just below center. I'm presenting the gouge with the flute at a 45 degree angle with the handle lowered a tiny bit. I like the handle behind the cutting edge a little bit so that the bevel can support the cut. Every so often you want to stop the lathe and move the tool rest closer to the wood. Lightly touching the bottom of the gouge on the blank lets you feel when the blank is round. Once it stops bouncing you know that you don't have any corners left. Now that we have a cylinder, we need to make equally spaced marks down the entire cylinder. I'm using 3 quarters of an inch for this one. If you want to make wider beads, you can use any measurement that you want. Once all your marks are made, you'll want to go back and make a line around the entire cylinder, so you can see the lines while it's spinning. Now that all the lines are made, I'm using a parting tool to make a 3 8 inch deep cut at each line. I started out using a piece of tape to mark my depth, but that didn't work out very well. So I ended up using a marker to make a mark on the parting tool. Now that I have my parting lines in, it's time to start cutting the beads. I'm starting by finding my cutting angle using the ABCs. First I anchor the tool shaft to the tool rest, then I rub the bevel. Finally I lift the handle of the tool up until it starts to cut. To cut a bead, you want to start in the center with your flute facing straight up. Once you start your cut, you want to slowly rotate your flute in the same direction that you're cutting. Then repeat the process on the other side. You want to stop your beads at the depth of your parting cuts. Continue making beads all the way down the cylinder. I set this one up for narrow coves. If you want to make wider coves, just skip every other segment.
Now that you have your beads cut, it's time to practice making some coves. Instead of starting in the center, you're going to start from the sides and work your way inwards. To cut the coves, you're going to start with the flute at a 45 degree angle, and then as you work your way towards the center, rotate the flute straight up. Once you get to the middle, repeat the process on the other side. You want your bevel to contact the wood as you're going down the sides of the bead to help support the cut. Now all that's left is to complete all the coves on the stick. Turning bees and coves is a safe way to practice tool control that will translate across a variety of tools. Whenever I'm giving instruction to someone new to wood turning, this is always the first thing that I teach them how to do. Check out this video next for another simple spindle turning project. 